If you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. We absolutely had a fail in this dome right here. We had some crenum that I let get too hot and we cooked them. And what I learned is this, crenum need a lot of water flow and like it a little bit more underwater. We are known for underwater growing plants, but right here, right now, we are growing them above water and they're absolutely crushing. You can see these Econodorus, also known as Amazon swords. Now I'm gonna start growing swords above water and that's exactly what this tent is perfect for. I have seen Amazon swords growing in the wild, in the jungles of Peru, and they are growing in straight up muck in high temps. That's what we're gonna do here. We have a red Reuben sword. We have what looks to be a decumbent sword. We have a pointy sword. And over here, I had Joe take a bunch of our rattiest looking, grossest looking, straight up Econodorus Blairi, also known as just plain Amazon swords, and they are in here. And I will tell you, this is an entire basin with dirt at the substrate. I don't think there's anything even capping this. And I came in here and all of the swords were completely melted down, melted back, and they all looked like this. This was below water, this stuff was melting off, then we put it back above water and it withered away. But look at the center growth right here, boys and girls. There's one new leaf, actually two, and then a three. These were not here when we planted them. Swords are a heavy root feeder. This sucker has roots rocking. And in about a month's time, this is really gonna take off. 